Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will learn about how to design a high pass RC filter. And the basic concept is this is the high pass filter, and from capacitor, actually, you can determine. We can see that at low frequency, the capacitor behaves like an open circuit, so whatever is the input voltage will not go across. So, low voltage will not pass. But for high voltage, this will behave like a short circuit. So, for high, uh, sorry, for high frequency, this will behave like a short circuit. Therefore, input signal will go to the output side, and the uh, response curve will be something like this: it is attenuating at low frequency, but allowing the full signal to pass at high frequency. Now, the formula that is used for uh, calculating the V out V in ratio uh, is this given here. On the horizontal axis, we have uh, F over Fc and the vertical axis V out over V in. And this point here, where it is written 1, that is the critical point or the critical frequency point where the amplitude is actually 0 0.707. So we can define the critical frequency is that frequency for which the ratio of the output to input voltage, that is this voltage, is approximately 0 0.707. Okay, we stay away, uh, jump on to the example to clarify our concept. Pulses for a stepping motor are being transmitted at uh, 2000 Hz or 2 kHz. Design a filter to reduce 60 Hz noise, but reduce the pulses by no more than 3 dB. So let's see it diagrammatically. This is our signal around this 2 kHz and here is the noise. So we have to design a filter which should minimize the noise but at the same time if you look at this diagram here the filter will actually also reduce or minimize the uh, input signal depending on how far it is uh, uh, from the design point or from the fc cutoff frequency now as given it is saying that the reduce the pulse by no more than 3 dB. So this we can reduce up to 3 dB and we also know that Fc reduces to 0.77 or 3 dB. Therefore we will consider this point to be the Fc or the critical frequency. So Fc in this case is 2 kilohertz. And now the effect on 60 Hz noise is found by using this equation where F is 60 Hz. This is the uh, frequency where we are working and we have the cutoff frequency. So 60 Hz for F and 2 kilo is for Fc. Putting in the values, we get the value to be 0 0.03. That means the noise will be reduced to 0.03 or 3%. Thus we can see that with this design only 3% of the 60 Hz noise remains. That is it will be reduced by 97%. So that was the uh, mm, uh, calculation of this frequency and its effect on the noise. Now we come on to the design part. Uh, the design uh, techniques we have discussed in the low frequency, um, uh, low pass filter as well. So I'm just repeating. First of all, we have to find the critical frequency, which we have found here. And then from this formula, we have to find R, uh, provided we uh, assume a value of capacitor. So we select a capacitor from the standard values and then put in this formula, we can calculate the resistance. And whatever is the calculated resistance, we have to select a nearest value from the standard resistance. 
so let's see fc we have found to be 2 kilohertz so from this now we'll assume a calculator uh, sorry uh, uh, capacitor so select a standard capacitor from this range we are selecting a 0.01, .01 microfarad capacitor so this one here and now from this formula which is written here this will be the formula for r so we'll plug in the values so we're plugging in 2 pi then the frequency 2 kilohertz and then the capacitor 0 0.1 microfarad we find the resistor to be 7.957 kilo now one condition is that the value of the resistance has to be greater than 1 kilo and it has to be less than 1 mega since this is within that range therefore this is an acceptable value but we have to find uh, the uh, nearest standard value so if we look at this list the nearest standard value of 7.9 will be 7.5 or 8.2 so from here uh, we have to pick one and let's pick 8.2 so with this value which is not exactly like this therefore with this value the critical frequency will now change slightly so we are calling this new frequency fc dash and putting in the value of r now uh, this value from here from here we are calculating fc so fc dash is now 1.94 kilohertz instead of 2 kilohertz so it has shifted slightly okay so fc dash is 1.94 kilohertz now what will be its effect now the fc dash has moved slightly here so what will be its effect now on the uh, signal so the pulses would be down by now again we are using this formula to find v out v in so from here if you calculate it will be 0 0.718 which is acceptable because the the question has said that you cannot go beyond 3 db that means beyond 0 0.707 in our case it is remaining at 0 0.718 therefore this value is acceptable this design is acceptable so we can say that if you take a resistance of 8.2 kilo and a capacitance of 0 0.1 microfarad and design the filter this will perfectly meet our requirement now in some cases it is given or it is told that design a filter which should not consume any power or minimum power so in that case then instead of a resistance capacitance we have to use capacitance inductive circuit like this and for this the formula for fc will be now 1 over 2 pi under root lc so I hope you can practice with this circuit as well to find uh, the given solution. Thank you.